the, the teams that they have doing this, they're going to go for attempted murder, okay? That dumb fucker in that black car, I want to, can you track him before I even take off so I don't he don't get his little way with me? I don't uh, know who drives that black car. Well, I'm going to get a complaint form off on him because I was just right here and then he made a point. He knows who, you know who I am, don't you? Obviously, on record. No. I, For the record, you don't know who I am? Honestly, no, I don't. All right. Well, I'm Connell Peterson, a retired state wire man for the state of uh, Nebraska, Hall County. Most of these cops know who I am. They get this little troll game going. And, uh, you know, most of the sheriffs stay out of it. It's usually police, and the troopers usually stay out of it, too. But these police, uh, I don't know what the hell. I expose them for raping children, usually. Uh and, uh, you know, it's hard to believe cops rape children and rape women, but they really do. Even in this state, you got them, okay? And I talked to a trooper last night. I asked him, did you know uh, Mr. Holdsclaw, the father? He goes, no, I knew the son, the one that was in prison for 263 years. He, and he's on my backside. So that's awfully coincidental, isn't it? Uh, here's the, you know, I've been doing a story about Mr. Holdsclaw, and here's a trooper right there, you know. So I don't know. Did you know the guy, Old Claw? I didn't. Uh, his, I know his dad. Yeah, his dad's Enid. a pretty square guy, you know, from Enid. Yeah, his dad's a square guy. So what I want you to do, Mr. Rudy Briggs, is just take a note of this: that Mr. Okay. Connell Peterson okay. is being pushed hardcore by cops clear across the nation, and uh, okay. what they're doing is trying to run my name and pretend like they want to run my name and that kind of shit to try to get my heart going. They already got the, the word because they broke HIPAA law in Arizona. The cops been following me to hospitals even, okay? We're not going to let them kill me, brother. They're going to go to prison. So I hope they can, you can take this and do this right. Okay. Um, you want to come out and look at the car and all that stuff and play that game, tear it apart or anything? There's other, you can know, put cameras in, in, in cameras on cameras and laptops, that's it. I'm uh, here, like I said, I got a few bucks left. I was going to try to get some clothes because I'm freezing to death in the car. I'm going to get some pneumonia. That's what they're pushing for. And and I'll let you know, uh, Medford, nice town, but them <coughs> scumbag police over there let this town know I was coming this way. Okay, because I'll tell you what happened. Um, I seen a sheriff going that way in a pickup. Smooth enough. He didn't do nothing. And then I seen a state trooper cruising. He didn't do nothing, right? Okay, but then we seen a bluish black SUV. But it, he rode my tail for a minute and he took off. He had the light on, but it just had normal tags. So they're trying to spook me. Those three were working as a team. So who was going that way in a. You know, they tried to set the stage to get the. The heart going, get your hysteria going. I don't know who okay, well, I hope they straighten out there, brother, because I've lost my sense of humor. I've, I'm ready to start putting cops in prison. <laughs> I mean, no, I know obviously what my guys are doing. But yeah, they, they seem pretty square. Nobody's been screwing around here. But, and the guy going that way was innocent enough. The guy that came behind me acting like a cop, he wasn't a cop. And then he tore off like a bat out of hell, like some kind of dumb fucker driving one of you guys' old vehicles probably or an old SUV because <laughs> he wouldn't have normal tags would he? You shouldn't. No, no so he, he just had normal tags so he was playing the part of the cop and I, I hope they're not using guys like that, their buddy system to try to spook people because if he did I'm going to investigate that too we and, we and we're going to fuck, way. we're going to have to wrap him up in a cell just like Danny holds claw. They're going to be in worse trouble than Danny they keep going. Danny didn't murder nobody. We're, we're briefing this state in right now for attempted murder, and that's what I'm doing with you. So, what's today's time, time and date? Today is uh, Tuesday, and it's 11.30. Well, thank you for your time. Look, what I'm trying to do is get some clothes and get some fucking gas from a gas station, uh, from a church, so I can get the fuck out of here. This, I, I don't know if it still exists. At one time, yeah, they had a pre, uh, ministerial uh, alliance. Well, I don't know if it's still Well, I, I played that, played that game. I went to, like, three different churches, and... One had, uh, you know, I'm not going to play knocky knocky on every church, and I, here comes the bad guy begging for gas. Is, is there a way you can ask him? Well, the, the police department used to run, I mean, they had the contact. Yeah, well, well, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry to, to, no, to ride you like this and with this garbage, but this is your social media town. Uh, that social media cops, and they get involved with YouTube business and think they're going to go stalk them and play fuck horse games. 
They're going to go to prison. I'm done playing games, so I hope you take a note of this for real. Do you have a card? Yeah, right here. Right. Because any more I see of this bullshit, we're going to call the state PN, and we're going to call investigators and talk to... Just, can we run a sting on them there, Sheriff? Will they let you run a sting on them? That would probably be more... We'll sting the shit out of them. I'm not even kidding you. I'll fucking drill them, brother. I'm, I've got so many cameras and wires. You have no idea. They're everywhere, man. I'm, I'm always... I always have, this thing is always on. Even when I sleep, it has to be on. And if nothing's on, I just tink and race it, you know. That's, uh, that would probably be more in the area of the <coughs> Oklahoma State Bureau investigation or the FBI. Yeah. Well, can, can you say, look, I would like to talk to the district attorney and say, look, I'm going to see how my guys are working in this town, see who the fuck they're playing with on record and see how they treat the public. And if they fuck around, think they're going to prison. Can you do that? Can I talk to the district attorney? Yeah. I can, but he wouldn't have any involvement. In well, he'd get ready for their case in court. You know, if we're going to set them up, let's set the bitches up right. I used to do it on a regular basis from drug dealers to murderers to even... The chief of police in my hometown of Harvard, I put him in jail for burning houses, so right up the road, a couple of states, so Listen, I just want you to know I, I think you're a square guy. I think you I don't I don't see no ego flipping on me. You could say get the fuck out of my office at any time and I, I look like a dumb fucker, but you seem like you're a square guy and you know, uh tell your guys, you know, behave themselves. I've got problems with my car. See, I do these trips on purpose. I am the bait. Take the bait, go to prison. It ain't the first kick round I ruined, okay? I ruined lots of cops, okay? Lots of them. It's what I do. So, yeah, I'm not here to be uh, slyball or anybody. I just want to let you know I'm...